tell us what you believe makes up a good book or yet a great book? What are the components of that? That's a very good question. Uh, I would think that longevity uh, is a factor. Uh, whether a book endures the, the decades and sustains, you know, popular and uh, commercial interest. Uh, one of them that comes to mind is uh, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, which is, I know, on the list of the Great American Read. Um, and uh, it's just such a fantastic book with those strong female characters. Uh, and Alcott wrote it in less than six months but really pioneered uh, a unique writing style. She borrowed from elements of writing children's books and added in uh, an adult storyline and uh, the plot is, it has universal themes with um, you know, wartime and loss and uh, uh, maturity and uh, coping with uh, a parent, you know, and, and a family that's, uh, you know, somewhat um, uh, destitute uh, during wartime. Uh, and remarkably, it's never gone out of print. So that's one example of a, a, a great book, I think, that has survived and, you know, uh, demonstrates the longevity principle, if you want to call it that. Books are out there for all ages, and we know that we lose readers um, sort of in the 18 to 21 year old range. And so we're looking to find out what book you believe would inspire them to draw them back in uh, to reading. So tell us what you think about that. Yes, uh, one that I would recommend is The Girl Who Threw Butterflies by Mick Cochran, uh, an English professor at Canisius College. Um, it's one of his recent uh, young adult fiction uh, books and uh, it's a very moving story and very realistic as well as fiction can be a set in a middle school uh, where a young lady makes the school baseball team uh, because her father had taught her the the art of uh, the knuckleball pitch but there's magical realism in there and uh, there's a lot to grab the attention of uh, young readers and that's a book that I would start with.